always watching, always tracking. Channel 4 is the weather authority. All right, 1214, some cooler weather on the way, and Ooh. Matthew's still churning out there. Matthew is churning, but not much change since we had the 5 o'clock update. I'll show you the uh, current path and where it sits right now, but if you're just joining us, a quick recap. We've got 70-mile-an-hour winds, three more to go, and the moniker changes from tropical storm to hurricane. 85-mile-an-hour gusts solidly in that hurricane range, and it's moving to the west at 15. And if you're putting the little point, still a tropical storm. 14 to north and 66.3 to the west. And it's neat when you track it because you can see how it just moves a little notch to the north, but mostly to the west. Category 2 impacting as a Category 2, exiting as a 1. I mean, look at the difference. We're only talking 10 miles here. 90 mile an hour winds Tuesday. This would take us into Wednesday. And Thursday would be setting almost offshore from, say, Brevard to... Uh, northward up to about Volusia County. Some estimates, you know, depending on the speed, again, it could get uh, all the way up into, say, Flagler and St. John's, and then through the day on Thursday, passing by our coast. The two white lines, previous uh, tracks here, let me see if I can move the map a little bit. There we go. So this was Wednesday at 2 a.m. Here was this morning at 5, and here's the 11 o'clock, this red line. There's the advisory, and note that, I mean, right smack dab over top of the five o'clock advisory. So no shifting here when it comes to the storm path, at least for the last two updates. What looks really cool, and I'll move the map again here so we have a better view of this, even though this is a dry slot right here, this is actually bringing in or entraining some drier air into an exposed core. But what's impressive, usually that means that the system would start to weaken, but obviously right there, watch this, right to the north of that convection, really, or to the uh, core, you can see that convection that continues to fire up. And that does very much look, especially with the way it's uh, fanning off the top there, it's looking like that growing, that strengthening tropical storm from here.